quite use them yet. Oh! God. That tree fell on us. <laughs> hey, howdy, hey, YouTube, and welcome to Nightingale. We are going to start off, obviously, by creating our character and just kind of going through the basics. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, welcome to Nightingale. Begin by selecting basics, choosing your body type and default appearance within the archetypes available. They cannot be changed after finalizing for now, though we plan to add support for this in the future. Okay, and then we can zoom in and rotate. Perfect. Basics. All right, looks like we've got a lot of options. Um, and this is just body type A. Body type B is female or feminine. And this one is male or masculine. So let's go ahead and go through... definitely some interesting looking faces here. Okay, I could go off of that one. Or maybe that one. We're gonna go off of this one. Age 27. I am about to be 25, so we'll do that. Voice set. Let's see. There's only two, okay. We will do voice set one. Ancestry, academic, statesperson, tradesperson, hermit, officer, ne'er do well, vagrant. Okay. A learned scholar, well versed in the physical sciences and humanities, your time was spent among the grand libraries and lecture halls of your local university, conducting le lengthy research studies in your field. Statesperson, a regent, born into wealth and a lineage of political power. Nope, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Tradesperson, a skilled and practical jack of all trades, you spent most of your days laboring, living a modest but fulfilling life. With tool in hand and food on your table, you needed nothing more. Hermit, a reclusive eccentric, choosing the lonesome wilderness over the bustling city. You worked the land, forgoing the comforts of modern life, as well as the social decorum, in favor of total self-sufficiency. Officer, military officer, I'm good. Ne'er do well, a petty criminal, oh, um, I'm good. Vagrant, destitute and relegated to the streets, or worse, the workhouse. Your, li your lot in life has been begging, scrounging, and long stits of torturous manual labor under the cruel watch of the Guardian. I'm good. I'm just going to do academic. Inheritance. No family members available. Okay, I don't... I'm good. Customize your appearance, skin tone, eye color, makeup, and more. Customize any of the areas you like. Randomize by clicking on the dice button. It's down in the middle. Press reset anytime to return these settings to the default values set from the archetype you've selected. Okay. Skin tone. So I'm pretty pale myself. We're gonna go with that. Modeled redness. No, I'm good. Scars. Tattoos. I don't have. Oh, they don't have access to that yet. Hair color. Uh, let's do. Can we do like a deep blue? Maybe, is there a way to, hmm, interesting, hairstyle, oh nice, here we go, so top middle is what we've got right now, what else is there, oh, nope, no, oh, <laughs> That's just bald. It's kind of close to what I've got, actually. But I do kind of like this, uh, this messy kind of hairstyle up here. What's this? Oh my god, it's a comb over. <laughs> 
I'm I'm good, thanks. Uh, that one's got like a more feminine look to it. Where was that other one? Oh, here it is. All right. Eyebrows. We can do super bushy or not so bushy. Oh my god, you can have a little unibrow. Fantastic. I think this is good. They're filled in a little. Facial hair. What do I... Oh my god. Oh my god. These are great. I think I'm gonna go with this fancy little mustache. Do I want a thicker one? Nah, I like the fancy the little curl. <laughs> it's cute. Forehead. What about it? Right now we're in the middle. Oh, I can make it bigger, smaller, to the left, to the right. Interesting. Cheeks. I can make them a little higher. Cool. Nose. Nose looks good. Don't mind the nose. Jawline. I think we're gonna just have it there. So if we don't have it there, what's it? I'm literally moving the chin around. I, I don't like that. Chin soft slash hard? What? Oh, I can jut it out more. I don't like that either. Let's just do this. Eye presets. I've got hazel eyes. Ooh, those are cool. Got like a golden hazel. Also got green eyes at times. Oh, there we go. That's really neat. Eye colors. Uh, interesting. Okay, so this is just the eye preset. And I can change the color down here. Okay. It's a little too yellow, maybe. I could also go for, like, a light green. There we go. We'll do that. Eye shape. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, hell. <laughs> We're just gonna leave it. We're just gonna leave it out of it. <laughs> That's good. Ah, my teeth. Hurry. Uh, rah. Rah. <laughs> I think we're okay on that, too. Makeup. I, I'm not much of a makeup wearer myself. I don't know about you guys. Alright, select the starting circumstances for your character. These will change and evolve with gameplay. Nightingale is an evolving online multiplayer experience. You'll be able to tune and adjust the difficulty of realms you access. Your equipment and items will help you prepare for your adventures. The higher your equipment score, the more prepared you are. Awesome. I like that. Difficulty. Alright. So we can start with a bunch of clothes. Medium. Easy. Hard. And extreme. Why does hard give you... Oh, I see. Unprepared civilian. Okay, so medium, I'm guessing, is like the normal... Uh, as one of the foremost experts in your field, you attended many scholarly conferences, but never before had you let such an event afraid. A group of Parj Parjan? Parjan? I'm not sure. Academics took the stand to share a project already underway, to transform the Eiffel Tower into a grand transept portal. Though a riotous row ensued, they did not waver. As you took your solemn leave, you knew to prepare for the worst. 
hard. Your research was always more pressing the pageantry of less serious scholars. The Paris transept seemed the height of such frivolous fanfare, and thus you paid it little mind, referring to focus preferring to focus on a rather dreary paper of much verbosity. Uh, you kept your nose down until calls for evacuation had your colleagues dragging you, yet unwilling, toward the safety of the nearest portal, hardly prepared for the realms beyond. And extreme late sleeper. Amazing. As one... Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Me. Uh, as one of your university's leading researchers, your brilliance granted you a great deal of leeway, which you took frequent advantage of. Unanswered telegrams and long, wistful mornings were your norm. The, de the descent of the pale posed no disruption to your routine until you were jolted from slumber by alarm bells and panic screaming. Without a moment to collect yourself, you fled into the realms in naught but your unmentionables. Amazing. Oh. Okay. So, that's just for our starting loadout. This isn't gonna be, like... So this guy, you start with the most on, and, like, the best equipment. Studying humanity's history in the realms has made you keenly aware of the potential for disaster. You've tried to use your knowledge to steer policymakers towards more prudent action, but rarely was your voice heard, least of all as you protested the rushed construction of the Paris transept. As the pale descended and calls for evacuation began, you were forced to enter the realms that so disquieted you, albeit well prepared. And then we've read these other ones. I think we're going to go with the late sleeper because I feel like that would actually be me. I love the slippers, by the way. Um, <laughs> I also, I have to mention, I was a part of the beta testing for Nightingale. So I got to see a little bit of this in advance. So I know what we're doing. Realm power. Easy, medium, hard, extreme. Um, hmm. I guess we're gonna go with extreme here too. Just cause I have played some Nightingale and I have played survival crafting games. All right, and I can change this at any time, it sounds like. Um, difficulty of your starting realm. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and, and start here. Advance to finalize and begin your character adventure. Next. Choose your name. Well, I am Arigato. And I am ready to play. Before time itself, the realms have existed. Hey, Puck. Born of curiosity, we opened the first gateway to our endless Feywilds. The Fey have long since aided men in harnessing that which we live and breathe. Magic. Tolerance was known until your grasp extended reach. Greed, in the face of power, saw your world caught in ruin. And out flowed the pale, swallowing all in its path. Some fled its ever-spreading tongue, seeking refuge in Nightingale, only to be severed from assistance as the pathway between realms collapsed. But ah, uh, perhaps not all is lost, oh. for Nightingale still stands, pushing forward towards progress and enlightenment, humanity's final beacon. Your path thither is winding and full of terror's nascent realm walker. Wilt thou succumb to fey lands beyond thy wind? Or wilt thou endure, find the way homeward and rebuild anew?
and thus begins our journey toward Nightingale within the realms of the Fey Wilds. Let's go ahead and see where we're starting. We're starting in an unknown realm, and it is early in the morning. Here we go. Let my words steer your steps. Well, we are here. We have arrived. And it is slightly scary. We are in a foreboding sort of space. All right, let's continue onward. How now, fleshling? Whither wander you lost in our Feywilds? Indeed. It be me. Is there a... Oh, that's just on my hotbar. I'm not sure. Show haste, human. I'm hasting. I'm running. Quickly, before those bound fiends snip out your despair. Yeah, I'm here. Shadows abound, yet like a fire's final embers, you refuse to be snuffed out. Yes, yes I do. I come with an offer to guide you to a safer realm, and rebuke death, unlike so many of your kin. Uh-oh. Take these bloodstained cards, Play them, and let amiable bond be drawn between Fay and Fleshling. Give me your hands, that we may be friends, and I shall restore amends. Amosit in kunul ame. Hurry yonder, toward portal and apparatus, so you, bare child of Earth, might abscond this nightmare. Travel to the forest byway swiftly. Across the divide, a greater gift awaits. Partnerships with we Fay afford many wonders yet unseen. And there he goes. Thanks, Puck. And we're gonna come over to this apparatus right here, the realm card machine, and play our forest and byway card. And we're gonna open the portal. Fly, Realm Walker. The fiends have caught your despairing stench. Oh, 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 oh. Off we go. Into the realms. Unprepared in our just pajamas. <laughs> It's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. Oh. Forest card. Play this card to seek a realm lush with forest. The first discovered realm was a lush forest, misleading Red Cross Knights into believing the Feywilds were analogous to Earth's habitats. How wrong they were. Byway card. Play this card to seek a small, transient realm. Diminutive wilds exist that serve as pathways between larger realms, like a secret passage between two glades. From the Fey, Red Cross Knights learned they were called byways. And here we are in the Fey Wilds. Oh. Oh, bye. Oh, God, there's so many of them. Oh, God, hello. What's up, Puck? Count thyself among the fortunate few who manage to flee the Pale's noxious proliferation. Yes, yes, I suppose we are very fortunate that we did that. Nightingale still stands, but Earth teeters on the brink, and these wilds are far from hospitable. Sequestered so and struck by woe begs the question, wilt thou be a survivor? Will the gift I promised should aid thy cause. A hermetic guidebook and pocket watch. 
purloined off the corpse of a realm walker. Keep these like close companions. With the man-made network sundered, entrust me to find the trail forward through these byway realms. In the interim, I hear your stomach snarling. Take reprieve from misery and gorge yourself with a feast fit for a fleshling. Preserve yourself and I shall return anon. Oh, under this mask you wonder. I am Puck. Robin to I some. Thought... Oberon's merry wanderer of the night. The last furtive fay to grace your kind. Okay. See ya. So I can't cut down trees because I don't have an axe. And I can gather little sticks like this. Where where did that E go? There we go. Um, but I need some, like, grapes real quick. Like these. Using offhand items. You can hold small items like food and torches in your offhand. Press F to use your equipped offhand item. A nom nom nom. Okay, that did not heal me much, so we are going to need more. I'm gonna grab a bunch of sticks. Is this what I need? I can't remember what these are. No, nope, just sticks. We need more grapes. Are these grapes here? Nope, they're more flowers, though. And there's certainly plenty of deer, but I don't have a means to... <laughs> I mean, I guess I could punch them like that, but they're all level 40? Uh, so... So that's just not gonna work. Okay, here we go. Some more berries. Um, num, num. Hmm. Whereabouts could we find more grapes? Here? Nope, more flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Aha! Grapes. Um num. Oh, here's a ton of them. Whoops. I keep trying to punch things. I'm not actually trying to punch them. I'm just trying to eat. Acquire sticks and raw berries. Oh, I need to save some of these berries. Alright, let's acquire some raw berries that I haven't eaten. I didn't- I just noticed the tutorial up in the right-hand corner. Uh, alright. I've got four of five berries. Let's grab another one. I need sticks, which I have nine out of three, and I need rocks. Now, rocks might take me a second to find. They're like, um, they're like these tiny little piles. Not like this big rock right here. I, I actually don't see any rocks. Uh, they might be out over here. Yes, okay. So this little pile right here is a pile of rocks. We've got a couple here. Okay, build a campfire. You'll learn schematics you can use to place and construct and blah, 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 blah. Let's go forth and build ourselves a campfire. Exposed, not on a stable surface. So grit down and exposed down. I think that's just going to be how it is, unfortunately. Alrighty, we added the resources because we'd already gathered them. We can use this to cook, refine, uh, multiple interaction points, right. And we can cook after we've ignited the fire. Perfect. So down here, if I'm looking down at the actual base of the fire, I can add fuel, like these sticks here. And then if I look up here at this little pot, I can choose to craft roasted berries. And craft. Just like that. Om nom nom. 
see, and that's a bit better now. All right. Hey, Puck, what's up? Ah, you've avoided embarrassment by staving off starvation. From the lingering scent, your meal was no summer court banquet. But at least you persist. Well, uh, yeah. I, it could be better than just some grapes, but oh well. We must carry forth whilst this byway is aligned with another. One which should get us closer to necessities we'll both require. Is that so? The portal stands nearby. Delay not, for the withering sands await. Our next byway is going to be a desert then, by the sounds of it. I'm going to extinguish this in sp uh, no, I want to take the sticks back. And, uh, if I go here, I guess we're just gonna leave that. Um, let me grab some rocks while I'm here just in case I need them. Because the next little byway is a little less forgiving. And, uh... I want to make sure that I'm prepared. And the portal's right there. So there's, there's much to do. Alright, we've got lots of little rocks. Uh, that's, that's not something I can mess with. Let's go ahead and grab some of these bushes, too. Because, trust me, we're gonna want them in this next byway. Am I getting what I need? Plant fiber sticks, perfect. Let me just grab as much as I can. And are there any more gra Yes, there are. Okay. Let's grab some more grapes while we're at it. Any more grapes. There's lots of deer. Oh, that statue over there scared me. I was like, there's a leg sticking out right there. And, uh... Uh, hello. Can I help you? Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> I was staring at its butt. I didn't realize that was its behind. Um, I thought I was staring at its face. Just, you know, chilling. And it doesn't look like there's anything else I can really gather from here. Other than, perchance, some more berries. And look at that. More berries. Okay. Let's get out of here before the, the night falls. Up will lead us into the next realm. And this shall be the end of this leg of the tutorial. The tutorial is actually pretty lengthy, and you want to kind of listen to what he says. Um... And I am for your- for mostly your sake, for the Watcher, um, where you're playing the Desert card and another Byway card. And we're gonna go... go now to the desert. Uh-oh. Anything spooky? Oh, wait. Nope. Okay, bye. And we arrive in the desert. Play this card to seek a realm of arid desert. Bygone geoarchanists frequented deserts, relishing sunlight playing across the sands to give the illusion of unending horizons. Long ago forsaken by the Fey, yet vestiges remain. And then, of course, we played the by card, byway card before, so we know what that is. If you stand in the sun here, you get hot. And in the shade, you cool back off. We're gonna go talk to Puck in the shade. Summer runs through my being as blood runs through yours. Yet I've seen that dew men call sweat flow like rivers in our deserts. This heat devours spirit and life alike. 
Yeah, How that's no good. It? Enduring the elements is part of the Realm Walker's folly. Pleasure sought through vanquishing hostility. Whether this pleases or not, without shelter and the means to defend it, you'll not last long. Best to test your nesting prowess and avoid exhaustion while I scour for the next byway. Peace out, Perk. Oh, shadows be moving. Okay, build a stick tent, it asks, because we've already gathered pretty much everything we're going to need for it. And I want I want to build in a very particular spot, uh, because there is some stuff that we can gather here that will be useful to us. But it's going to... Oh, and look at that. There's a tree thing. I don't know what they're called off the top of my head, uh, but it's a tree thing. So the thing that's hard to gather in deserts is not... Oh, we're weighed down. Not sticks or rocks, but in fact, plant fiber. And there's some small, like, automatons over there. Let me just scooch over here into the shade. Okay, and it looks like the buildings I'm looking for, they're over there. But I also want to stay by this little... There's like a watering hole over here. Yes, it's very hot. I get it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Perfect. And this is where the portal is. So, oh, oh. What the heck? I'm no longer overheating, but I seem to be lagging. <laughs> there we go. Fixed it. I must have hit something. Some tiny little, little dudes there. I wonder what that thing they're standing by is. Uh, let's go ahead and make the tent. Boom. And uh, auto-add resources. And if we step back, there we go. And now we should be able to make a bedroll, which we'll want to place inside as well. Relationship, rest, and stamina. If your rest drops too low, you'll be losing max stamina and succumb if it reaches zero, which, of course, we don't want. Rest buffs increase as the comfort level of your bed increases. Amenities such as light, heat, and furniture increase your comfort level. Higher comfort levels add the varying levels of bonuses to your health and stamina regeneration rate. Resting requires a minimum comfort level. Building the bedroll under shelter meets those necessary requirements. And we can take a short rest and refill that little blue bar at the bottom left doing this. Hello, friends. I'm gonna go see what this... This is automation... Ch auto automaton chest? Am I allowed to collect that? I am weighed down. Yeah, indeed. Ooh. Let's go back over to our little shaded spot here. So it wants us to craft a makeshift wood axe, mining pick, hunting knife, sickle, and torch. If we go to crafting, we can go ahead and start doing that. Let's make this first. And then the pick, the sickle, the axe, and the torch. Basic resources can be found and harvested in the realms. These resources can be used to craft items or be refined into better resources using refinement stations. By using tools, you can harvest better resources with special qualities from the realm. Craft higher level tools to harvest from higher level resource nodes. Each tool also has a certain damage type. Creatures have varying weaknesses and resistances to damage types. Lovely. And these are what we can cook if we have a campfire out. Which, we do have some berries. I could make some, some more food while we're here. Let's go ahead and place another campfire. And 
we're gonna make some roasted berries. And once that fills, it's complete. Oh, we got some aloe while we were at it, so let's go ahead and make that. Oh, we can do it all at once. That's nice. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it's still going. There we go. Now we'll wait for that to go. I'm weighed down by my inventory. It wants me to return to Puck. He'll be somewhere nearby. And I'm gonna reorder my inventory to be pickaxe, axe, knife, sickle. Look at the automaton behind me just chilling. All right, stone block, sandstone. We're gonna extract the essence dust from those. Same with these rocks. And we're gonna keep the plant fiber for a hot minute. We're gonna take these, because there are... What level are you? It would be bad if I hit him. I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna skirt around here real quick. Oh. Oh, it's because Puck is loading in. It slipped my skull that Earth's great citadels resulted from decades I'm of toil. I'm getting hot while this happens. Still, I expected good. more than that lowly truss of sticks and the haphazard cudgel you now hold. Y yeah. You'll need better woodworking skills than that when we reach our destination proper. It affords the perfect setting for... Well... We shan't ruin the surprise. I like surprises. Let us depart, and speak of your ill-favored constructs no more. One final byway of muck and mire, the then swamp. this path of beginning shall fork unbounded into whatever endings you seek. Well, thank you. I'm gonna go back over here and cool off for a second and take a short rest because that drains both your food and your, um, your, your rest bar, I suppose. Okay. So I am going to go over there like I was trying to before. Oh, we're wet. Get a little more stuck there. Oh. He knocked down that tree. And you can automatically pick stuff up like this. Oh. By holding E. And then anything nearby that's been knocked over, you can pick up. one of those walking trees again. Oh, he knocked over that tree, too. Very cool. Okay. We're gonna go collect these. So this tiny chest we now know is an automaton chest. There's nothing in it. Okay. And this is a hope echo. November 25th. 1889. The veil between us, reflections from the world's end. Boats depart daily now, bells filling the arbor. Evacuations are underway, with some seeking refuge in other cities. Distant Nightingale draws others, with rumors of mechanisms that repel the pale. The journey is long and arduous, though. All the while, Sita keeps me on the shore, watching as the ships sail into the unknown. I long to see her smile again, the lopsided grin when she brings me a new discovery. The way her hand cradles each relic, her excited retellings. She is always so alive, so vibrant upon her return. I would give anything to have her by my side again. 
Oh, that's very sweet. So, first things first, I think it's back here. If we go in here... Aha! Yes. There's a little chest. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. We get a Harvester's Workshop card. A Maleficent card. And a Slight Healing Potion. We're gonna take all. It's a Fey chest. And then we're gonna come back out. And we're gonna do a little bit of climbing. I wonder if this one has any. Ah, yes. Another chest here. The Combatant's Workshop card. Raw gem, healing potion, and treasury card. Now your cards have a slightly different inventory. So they go elsewhere. And I think on top of all of this stuff is another chest. So we're gonna go take that, uh... Stairwell. cool off for a second. I think we're gonna have to climb over there. Is that... That's doable right here. I don't think we can make that, so we're gonna jump here. Ooh! Ooh! God. Was close. Aha! There's a chest right there. Alright. So we might have to make some bank tracking. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if I can make that jump. jump here. No. It would appear not. Oh, yes! There we go. And now we get a moderate restful potion and a slight healing potion. And I think those are all the secret chests here. I don't believe we can get up there. And you want to be careful falling like this. Alright, let's take a look in our inventory and I will show you that there is the backpack, which we're in right here. And then there's realm cards, which we've got a bunch of already from these. And essences, which is your primary, like, money... Okay, uh, how did we get down from here? Oh, here we go. So can I crouch down here? No? I mean, I can crouch down, but I can't, uh, crouch down all the way. I don't want to fall all that way. Oh, there's the stairwell. Okay. That's better. Now we can make our way over to the portal and head to the swamp. And these guys have cut down a lot of trees. So we're gonna take advantage of that. We're gonna try not to get ourselves murdered by one on accident. And we're going to turn these into essence dust, because we can't quite use them yet. Oh! God. That tree fell on us. <laughs> oh no, okay. That's fine. 
Memento Mori. So trees, just so everybody is aware, trees can murder you. <laughs> and that automaton knocked that tree in the perfect angle and killed me. You're not m mean, are you? Are you mean? No, your your totes chill. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> that was awful. We died. I love the sounds that these guys make. I was just heading towards the portal. That's all I wanted to do. And he had to knock the tree down on me. And this is where we died. So this is where we get all of our stuff back. Alright. Now let's go ahead and open this machine. Play the swamp. Byway card. Open. Release this hope echo. The Veil Between Us, December 18th, 1889, Sambungan. Finally, our time has come. The pale surrounds the city, an oppressive wall swallowing the buildings, advancing ever closer. The evacuations have ceased. There is no longer a shore from which to escape. No one knows what happens when the pale overtakes you. As I stand here, the air is filled with screams as the pale slips along the streets and then... Silence. I want to go to them, to help them, but there is nothing I can do. Nothing anyone can do. It is becoming too dangerous to remain. A few others have dared to pass through the portal, despite what may lie beyond. They, they take their chances, but I wait here, unwilling to leave until the last second. If she returns here, she will know where to find me. Sita, Sayang, wherever you are, please be safe. That's a good tip. Certain creatures in the Fey Realms accept offerings in exchange for special resources. Fighting is not always the best option. Swamp card. Play this card to seek a realm of swamp and more. Boots sinking into muck. An image known by all realm walkers who've tread the swamps. This card seems to stare at its keeper like a creature lurking in the mire. And then the byway card. And here... Oh. Well, hello, Puck. If not for Astaroth's decree, this trek would have been as easy as peach pie. We Fey are forbidden from consorting with your kind. And while my amity is yours, it behooves us both to move with caution. But enough prattle. The bound guard fey archways that align with temporal realms. As they're already acquainted with your despair, those fiends will emerge when you try to leave this final byway. Oh, fun. While I know man's impulse is to flee, without pluck, you're sure to expire. Prepare yourself, Realm Walker. Once this fen is within our wake, a fine morsel of knowledge I shall bequeath. Ahead lie relics of humanity's future. Oh? Secrets, secrets, secrets abound. Alright, and here we are in the swamp. And there's... A kinder sun here, but much less kind waters and there are also enemies afoot like that guy is this my axe or is this my axe the second one is my axe excuse me i have come to kill you oh god okay so they can one hit kill me since i chose extreme that's good to know <laughs> I 
I'll have to be extremely careful doing this. I did not realize that I was one hit killable. Oh, I'm also still just in my pajamas. This is going great. <laughs> I was gonna dodge to the left, but I didn't have any stamina. Okay, back we go. With our knife, we can pick up their meat and bones. Okay, now we just have to do that twice more, I think. Well, that cut down very easily. Just wanted to give it a try, you know. And whereabouts might another be? I need to be careful. The water can make you ill here. And we don't want that. Well, that's a little pixely, but that's fine. We want to go up there. For more loot. We also need to kill more of those guys. Oh, there's one. He's killing something else. Psst, psst, over here. one left. I missed, though. I missed. Hopefully he hasn't healed and we can just run over there and smack him. But somehow I believe it won't be that simple. Try not to stay in the water too long. Perdone! He did fully heal, so that's not good. I need to move to the side when that happens. two chests, more than likely. Let's go around this thing of water. Where'd he go? The bound will be even more interesting to uh, entertain. Well, we're gonna want to go up there. Just 
stamina, 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 stamina. Ha ha! Die, fool! Okay. And our next one should be just over here. We're gonna repair that. Let's get this little thing. We're gonna go up there in a moment. After I kill either one or two of these guys. don't want to take on both of these guys. Looks like we're gonna have to. we just avoid the other one, we can go in here, where there should be more chests and such to collect. There's also some tin ingots, like these here. I think it's tin. Yep, tin ingots. And whatever that was. Now we climb. Oh, Becco. I don't even see it. December 19th, 1889, Zimbungan. The pale has reached the steps of the building where we first met. West shy gazes and murmured words, the same building where I have waited all this time, but I must make a choice. On one end looms the pale, at the other the portal into an unknown world. Beyond the portal and into the realms I may find others. Perhaps they have happened upon Sita and can tell me where to find her. If not, perhaps they will find a way to push back the pale and reclaim Earth. I will search to the ends of whatever worlds I must to find her. The portal is opening. If I have chosen poorly and someone finds these writings, please tell Sita I have waited for her until the last, and that I will find her in the next life. Well, this is a sad story so far. Let's go up. Because up here should be more loot and chests. Like that one. But we're gonna get that one in a moment. Because I I need a, a certain special tool that I do not have in my grasp yet. To really kind of reach that appropriately. Okay, nothing here. We'll go back to that chest momentarily. Anything up here? It doesn't seem so. Aha! A feast card? Furtive infusion for stealth? When applied to equipment, this infusion provides increased stealth. Oh. And healing salves. Yes, please. And then we continue up. Oh, and here's another. Healing salve and the umbrella. That's what I'm looking for. And now, if I go here, and I take my umbrella, I can take it to zero. Perfect. How do I use it? Aha. Okay, I see. Another chest. Greenhouse card, tin ingot, and some leather. I wanted to make sure I knew how to use the umbrella before I uh, made this jump. Ooh.
Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Well, that was sad. Hopefully, I get increased stamina at some point, too. Oh, it looks like my food is getting really low. Uh, let's eat some cooked berries and some mixed veggies. And then some normal berries. Oh, and that increases our health, too, so now we're no longer one-shot. So food in this game, I, I had totally forgotten about that. I had totally forgotten. Um, is good for, you know, a number of things, but for one, it's kind of like Valheim in that the more you eat and the different varieties of things that you eat get you different uh, tools and such. Okay, let's get our umbrella out and prep to jump here. And we get some carved stone and the tempest and explorer eminent cards. Perfect. Oh, look at this little dude. Bye. All right. And now we're gonna go and try and get those ingots at the very. I had forgotten those. Uh, what can I get rid of? Extract essence dust from a number of these things. There we go. I want to get all the riches that we need. Okay. And this umbrella will also be helpful early on in like desert biomes and whatnot. Oh, come on. I want to get those, but I'm not entirely sure how. My stamina is also increased based on the foods that I've eaten, so that's nice. Can I get over there? Is there a better way to swing that over here? Check this one, right? Yeah. Aha! Give me. Alright, let our stamina regen and we'll jump back down. And I think we're gonna go to that tower over there. I also am not sh I don't remember where the- oh, there's the portal. I believe. Let's- Let's deal with this guy. Come on, jump at me. He's dead. Okay. D no, I want my knife. Jeez. <laughs> it was a little intense for a second there. Alright. Now we should be towards the end of the tutorial here. Yeah. Let me see if that other... Um... Whatchamacallit I can reach. Uh -oh.
Come on. Okay. It also wants me to make a makeshift capelet. Which I shall do once I have reached over here. Alright. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some of that armor. Makeshift capelet. Oh, I need plant fiber and I got rid of all mine. Well, no matter. There's tons here. Is that all I can make for now? I suppose so. And I'm immediately wearing it. I look good. Alright. Fire healing salve, which I have, and roasted meat. So it wants me to cook some of the Leoporidons that I've killed. Oh. Speaking of... Try and jump at me through that. You can't! Oh, I can't get you through it either. That's too bad. Search this level for anything that we might need. Some more ingots. Some berries. Oh, it's now raining. Let's get out our umbrella. Because umbrellas are also good for rain. Wouldn't you know? I'm weighed down. Okay. Oh, there's a chest right there. I almost missed that. What's this? Shingles. Okay. Now, if I could... Let's go ahead and extract the bones. I hope I don't need those. We'll extract the bound bristle. Carved stone, granite, flowers. Oh, I didn't need that, but I used it anyway. I'm weighed down still, so we're gonna extract the shingles. Some sticks, some plant fiber, the hide, there we go, weighed down once again, that's alright, we needn't worry, oh, whoops, Alrighty. I wonder if that's their network or mine. I don't think it's mine. More ingots there. Leather. Stalwart infusion. Blocking efficiency. Yes, please. Hmm, I need to be careful. 
falling while I'm weighed down is faster, and I take falling impact. So let's see, what can I do? Tin. I could get rid of some of the raw tin. There we go. Just making sure we know that there's lots of loot in these tutorial realms. You gotta, gotta look around. Make sure we uh, take advantage of what's around here. Okay, up we go. Another platform. I'm not seeing anything quite yet. There we go. Carved wood, nectar, and porcelain sandstone. Weighed down once more. We're probably going to have to get rid of the stone stuff that I have. Because it's probably rather heavy. Or more of the ore. We'll see. Is that got stuff on it again? I can't jump. Another umbrella. Is that the same as mine? Simple umbrella wood. Simple umbrella wood. Yep. Um, let's see here. Water spinach. Under seeds or extract. Yes. Single quartz. I know how to get quartz. We want to keep the gem. Uh, carved stone, carved wood. Porcelain sandstone. I wonder... Okay. Extract. Okay. There are ingots over there. Alright. Ooh, some bullets. For a rifle. Now, I have not- I played only about 10 hours of the beta that I was invited to. Um, so I, I haven't seen a ton of this game, but I've seen enough to know that there are some very interesting things to be seen. Oh, shit! Well, that's fine. I, <laughs> I know I can get up there, at least. Let's go back up. That scared me. I jumped. <laughs> uh, I thought we had just died again. Alright, keep going. Lots of going. Okay. Okay. Got it. Alright. And I don't have nearly as much stamina as before, so I'm just gonna go down this way. And now I can jump. I do not want to sprain. Those are really annoying. Okay. Now where is the portal from here? I think it's over this way. But let's check. I hear something. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, it's another Leoporidon or whatever they're called. Okay, let's fix our axe.
and kill this guy. Okay, there we go. Now we need another little campfire. Which, because it's raining, we need to put under here. Luckily we can. That's just a little tip for you. I need some rocks. I got rid of all my rocks. Okay. Let's see if, uh... We got some rocks over here. Got one little set. I need some more. Any rocks? Oh, here we go. Hopefully that's good. There we go. Roasted meat. craft. And it'll craft as many as it can with the fire that it has available. Let me go grab some- oh man, there's another guy here. Come here. That hurt. at me, bro. There we are. He's gonna come running this way because of you little... little buttheads. Oh, don't walk under the falling tree. Okay. No longer raining, but no matter. I've already built this. Roasted meat. Autofill. Craft. There we are. And then... Let's see here. Where... Let's extract those rocks. Seed. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh, let's go... Seven. Actually... This can go... Here. And where did that other one go? I can consume that. I ate one. Okay. And then... Seven, eight... Okay. Where did the other food go? Did I drop it? Oh. Oh, hi! How are you doing? I'm just minding my own business. You've stolen life to preserve your own. Well, I... A necessity. Lest it become a vice, one imbibed by men like dandelion wine. Yeah, well, I may have died a few times, too. Now, I've led you about around, through bog, through bush, through brake, through briar, and forthwith a temporal realm of abeyance awaits. And so, too, Nightingale. First, you must oblige your inner essence and choose the landscape that beckons. Aha. No need for words. Only thought. Gonna imagine a forest. The mystery of the halt. 
Play your cards, but beware. The bound will storm once the archway rouses. Crack their pitiable little skulls. Show no mercy. I won't. Okay. Mixed plants. Autofill. Do I have enough for roasted berries? I'm sure do. Roasted meat. Autofill. Let's go ahead and stick some plant fiber. Let me grab something with which to rest a small bit. So that we are prepared for this fight. Uh, more sticks, maybe. Aha. I hear somebody over there, but I don't want to bother with them. Because we have a bunch of bound we are about to fight. Um, num, num. Seven. Um, num, num. Eight. Um, num, num. Perfect. I need one more stick. Grit exposed. I cannot rest. Okay. I can't even do a short rest? Oh my goodness. Can I... What? How is it that I break things down? I forget. Okay, I need more sticks again. Stupid, stupid little bed. Sticky, sticky, sticky. I need some stickies. There we go. There we go. Those are rocks. Alright. This should be better. And this one will also have the campfire bonus. Short rest. Up until full. Perfect. Okay. Let us prepare ourselves with our axe. Place the forest card. And the abeyance realm card. Play this card to seek a realm suitable min of minimal danger. Suitable for the construction of an estate. Not even Nightingale's oldest magicians have been able to trace the origins of this card. The image imprinted upon the paper brings intense loneliness to mind. Well, that's sad. Remain vigilant while the realms are lie. I'll do that. Here come the bound. Alright. down. Okay, they do hit hard because I chose extreme, of course. But we've got this. All right, here comes some crawlers. Slash runners. Ooh. One at a time, one at a time. I believe... 
Oh. There's a hope echo right there. So these are the fabled realms I've heard so much of that I've spent years studying. Never once have I set foot here. It is stunning in its beauty. Life surrounds me. I can hear the birds. Uh-oh. Ow. All right, let's just go. We'll read it later. Realm Walker, your path forward is winding and full of terrors. Save yourself. Survive the realms. And rebuild all that has been lost. And that, my friends, seems to be the end of the tutorial, but let us speak with Puck one last time. Ah, we made it. With the byways left behind, your beginnings have ended. I bid you welcome to the Feywilds in earnest. This realm has long been forgotten by the Fey, left in limbo. Not unlike you. How fitting. And thus, here is yours to put down roots. But beware. In short time, darkness will descend, and with it, Stygian perils. Laying foundations will keep you intrepid, child of Earth. While you play carpenter, there are nooks in these surrounding wilds I must scrub for the knowledge I pledged. Alrighty. Very cool. Oh, I forgot you can block. That would have been helpful this entire time. Um... <laughs> oh well. Alrighty. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for being here, for being awesome, for being you. And I will catch y'all in the next episode of Nightingale. Bye! Bye!